So I need a new house. Just because I need a new house. This one looks decent enough. Not too big. Not too small. It has some decorations in there. I'm going to go ahead and trade for this house. Hey. Hey, you lady. You're not going to take this house from me. This is my house. This is my house. I'm trading for it. I'm trading for it. You're not going to beat me to this house, lady. You know what? I need you to get up. Get up. This is my house. I'm trading for it. What? You got something to say? No, you're not taking this house from me. This is my house. I need this for my family. It's a nice living area. Oh, it's your bestie's house. My bad. So this week's update gives us the ability to list our house for trade. You easily go to the mailbox and then you click on that button, list for trade. And you'll see a for trade sign in front of your home. And that way people know it's for trade. There are two items that cannot be traded that I'm aware of so far. The cozy home lore, which is Robux, plus uh, the builders uh, with a friend workshop. It will automatically remove money from that area so that way you can't trade away any of that money, which is a bummer. This seems to be the only way you could trade houses. Don't think there's like a button in the trade section where it shows all the houses. There's nothing like that, unfortunately. But possibly future update, I'm assuming. So once you figure out what home you're going to go ahead and trade, if you're wondering what is your house worth, well, that's a little hard to decide there, okay? That's the whole problem when it comes to trading your home. So I went ahead and traded my home over to my friend. See, if you notice, it is his racetrack now, which I wasn't very fond of this house anyway, so he could go ahead and have it. Uh, I did notice a slight difference when you go in. I had sub to red card 200. That is no longer there, but all the other items are pretty much there. Even the racetrack that I went ahead and built is also within there. So if you have a lot of houses uh, that are built, maybe you could get a, you know good trades for that. That might be something interesting when it comes to this trade, which I'll show you in, in a moment a few examples of that. But you know, if you're a builder, this update is clearly for y'all so you could trade away those nice builds that you have without trying to get scammed by building it. So now that you become the buyer, if you're looking for a house that's available for trade, you can look for this sign here. You click on it and you have access to a house tour. Things I'm looking for when purchasing a home is if they have a money tree, if they have a little grind session, because putting items into your home costs a lot of uh, in-game money. So you want to make sure they have those things for you. I wouldn't recommend buying an empty home because you have to... Uh, take money to build those things in there so that might not be a good idea so once you're ready to trade for the home you click on the button at the very top send home trade request and there's a very Im important piece if you click on the house itself you'll see the sign that comes up it gives you some information about how much furniture is within the home knowing the value of the home well that's the hard part i got declined a few times trying to attempt to trade for some homes look at this piece yeah <laughs> I know some people out there want people to build things in their homes. This might be a safer route to go check out this dragon uh, and this house that this person is trading away. This is definitely an update for those type of people that want a, an established home already with a grind session with money tree and just not having to put in any of the work to do all that for you. It's already done. So this update is definitely for you and it, that's cool in that regard. So I like the update for the fact that I've had quite a bit of houses that I've established that I no longer use. So just having them sit there, well, it's kind of useless. Now I could easily trade away some of those homes now and get something from it in return. So you got to see it. It's a plus. And plus, I could also help out other people that don't have established houses. Maybe they be, might be willing to trade for it, obviously save them money, just kind of waste pets for it. So it's a benefit. But with new updates, unfortunately comes new scams, which I found out one that I wanted to show you here. So I like this idea, setting up a party in the attempt to trade away your home, gives you some information about the home before coming over to it. I thought this was a really good idea that obviously we could use when trying to trade away our home. AFK grinding area, collection room, and a lore. But once we go into the home, you'll see the furniture it has, has a little area, and he's gonna go ahead and try to trade away this home here. 
So once you all reach an agreement on what trade you want to accept, he's going to tell you, let's go outside the hole. So we don't glitch as their excuse, okay? So what he's going to do is he's going to sell all the furniture within his home and he's basically going to trade you an empty home. So the, the home you're getting, unfortunately, you will not get. So you got to be careful with this scam here. So what I'm doing with this expandable home is I'm giving it away to a subscriber. So if you're in need of a home, I'll add some furniture there to you. That way it makes it look pretty nice. I'll leave it down in the comments below. So the last tip I wanted to give you is that you have a choice. You could sell all the furniture in your home. Not the home itself. You could also sell the home too. But I'm talking about just the furniture just to make a little extra buck. Maybe that person might want, prefer an empty home. You never know. But there you go, guys. That is everything you need to know about the home update. If I help you out in any way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you for watching. God bless you, guys.